How I met Joe, I was having a weekend off with my wife and we was in a hotel in Brighton many years ago and Joe came up to me at the breakfast and he invited us uh, to a boxing evening with Sugar Ray Leonard, which I thought was, you know, just an outstanding thing to do we hadn't met before. I sparred Mike Tyson for nearly two years and this particular day Sugar Ray Leonard was in the gym watching the sparring and um, I said to him, I said, you know, one day maybe you might visit Ireland with me. I put him onto the phone. We were allowed to make phone calls back in the house and I put him onto the phone to my mother and he spoke to my mother on the phone. And I said, one day, Sugar Ray, you know, you might visit Dublin with me and visit my mum. And he did. He came to Dublin, he visited my mum to walk through Dublin Airport and to, to walk into the centre of Dublin and to walk onto the housing estate where I lived in Dublin. One of the greatest champions ever to grace a boxing ring. Was, was amazing and for him to sit in the front room with my mother and have a cup of tea with her Mike Tyson did the same Mike Tyson visited my mum she used to speak to Mike on the phone all the time and she used to say oh Mike thank you so much for looking after my son he was beating me to a pulp day in day out making me cry many many times but to me and to my mother he, 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 he was he was like family Mike actually did the forward for my autobiography which, which made me very very proud and the book Joe Egan, the toughest white man on the planet, the moniker that Mike Tyson gave me. But for Mike to come over, for, he was in Brazil at the time, and Cass Pennant, who published the book, spoke to him on the phone, said to Cass on the phone, he said, Joe's my brother. He said, whatever Joe needs me to do, I'll be there. And he actually travelled over from Brazil to launch the book in Canary Wharf. It brought Canary Wharf to a standstill. I'm having a wonderful time hanging out with Joe. Joe's crazy, but I love it. I've been mad. <laughs> Joe, you go back a long time. Oh, yeah, very far, very far. We grew up together. I must have been 15 when I met Joe, yeah. Alan Minter, Charlie Magri, just to mention a few. And thousands of people there buying the book. I know everybody was there for Mike Tyson, but Mike Tyson was there for me. Mm -hmm. And it was probably one of the proudest days of my life, Alan, to tell you the truth. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And you know what? We're going to end it there, Joe. And it's just a, a great honour to have you with us, Joe. So thanks ever so much. You're a great uh, ambassador for the IBA. Thank you, Joe.